Hello everybody, we are back here on the 60 minute trophy series. And yes, I did change the name to 60 minute trophy because quite a few of you think that gold rares should also count in this series. So we're going to be calling it 60 minute trophy from now on. So there's been a couple changes that we've made, nothing too major, everything with the maps is still the same. We have all the maps except Hirschfelden, uh, weapons, same thing there. We also have added a, I guess we're, I don't really know what to call it as of now, but we have made a wheel for all of the things that we could uh, possibly have to do if we don't end up getting uh, one of the trophies and, oh no. I forgot to save it. Well then, but anyway, now that we've gone over like the minor changes and stuff, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and hit that notification bell so that you guys will always be notified when I post a video or go live. Also be sure to comment down below with a video idea, a suggestion for the series, or anything that you guys would like to tell me. I try to respond to as many of them as I can, but without further ado, let's jump into this and spin for our map. Okay, that's actually pretty lucky. We got Silver Ridge Peaks for our spin. So that's going to make it a little bit easier to find something, hopefully. SRP is usually really, really good for finding rares and diamonds, so maybe we'll get lucky. Alright, so now that we have spun for our map, let's go ahead and spin for a weapon. Keep in mind that if we get a weapon that doesn't cover all classes, we do have to spin the wheel again to get a second weapon that can cover the remaining classes, so... Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we end up getting. Okay, so we got a gun that can cover most classes. I think the only thing left is, like, maybe classes 8 and 9. I don't think the 12-gauge slug can, can take class 8. It might be able to. I guess we'll find out. So we pretty much just have to spin for a gun that can take class 9. So we now only have the weapons enabled that can take class 9 animals, so let's see what our gun for class 9 animals is going to be. So the compound bow. I don't think there's anything on Silver Ridge Peaks besides Plains Bison, so I guess if we find a diamond or rare Plains Bison, we gotta take it out with the compound, and as always, I will have the uh, the typical stuff like the 22 and the 7mm with me to take the animals that aren't gonna count for the challenge, so if we find stuff that doesn't count, like let's say a female rare, or just a rare that has no chance of making gold, we'll, gold, we'll take it with the other weapon, but... For anything that has a chance at completing the challenge, we have to use the weapons that we were assigned through this wheel. So let's jump straight into it now. Alright, the countdown has now started. Let's go ahead and jump into a Silver Ridge Peak server. Hopefully we can find something good off the bat. There's not a ton of servers available right now, so I mean, we'll see. This might not end the way that we want it to, with there being this little servers. Uh, one of the downsides of recording as late as I am right now. It's 11, 12 p.m., so a little bit later than I'd typically be recording, but I figured while I had the time, I might as well jump in here and do the next episode, so let's see what we can find. The good thing about this server is it doesn't look like there's many need zones, so I think this was probably a pretty low-level player's server. I mean, the host of it is 42. But I doubt he was the original host. This is most likely somebody who joined the server and then got host when the original host left. So hopefully we can find something good. I have a feeling that we will with a server with as little zones as this one has. Although the other thing is they could have all just been deleted from hunting pressure. And if that's the case, we might not be as lucky. Well, that's a 175 to 210 mule deer track. I kind of feel like I might have to chase that down. If we don't see anything at this lake, we'll definitely come chase this track down. Because there very well could be a, either a big level 4 or maybe even a level 5 mule deer at the end of that track. Hopefully at least. So the mule deer tracks are somewhat recent. We just got droppings that said fresh. So it shouldn't take too long to track this thing down. I didn't find anything up at that lake besides a mythical mountain lion. And then a couple level 7s. So we moved on from there. And hopefully... This is going to lead us to something good. 
All right, we finally have some tracks that say just now, which means we shouldn't be too far away. I found the bedding and feeding zone from this thing, so it should be just in front of us. Once we get into a bit of a clearing, we'll be able to see it and finally know if this is just a big four or if it's a level five. Really hoping it'll be a five, but most likely it'll be a four, which is why I'm not gonna waste too much time on it. All right, so there's no way we can avoid spooking this thing. It's right downwind from us. But it is letting out calls so we can at least get a view on it, hopefully. Leaving reserve, that's not good. This thing has ran out of the map. We need to back up and probably just wait till it returns into the reserve. We just barely made it out of there before it respawned us. That's really unfortunate. If it doesn't come back here fast enough, we're probably just going to have to move on. Alright, well, I don't think it's going to come back, so let's just go ahead and move on. Well, I mean, it's definitely not going to make diamond, but it's not every day that you see a mythical black bear. That does give me some hope for maybe finding a good black bear on this server. If there's a level 8, you never know, there could be a level 9 also. Oh my gosh, there we go. There we go, level 9 mountain lion, 38 to 40 on the estimate. We need to get it to stop moving. We need to get that thing to stop chasing, otherwise it's going to be very hard to track it down. Hoping that did the trick and stopped it. Otherwise this is going to be very difficult. I think it's kind of in this brush. I could be wrong though, but that is a level 9 mountain lion, so if we can find this thing then we should be able to get it completed provided it actually makes diamond otherwise that's gonna be a big rip I think this might actually be the first time I've ever come across a level 9 mountain lion at night so this is actually gonna be pretty cool be stalking a wait is that is that albino okay that's definitely just a dilute I was really hoping that would be albino but I think it's definitely just a dilute that extra brightness that those things have tricks you sometimes, especially at night. Alright, so this is definitely his tracks right here, and it looks like he did continue on. So that's a little bit unfortunate. That's going to make this so much more difficult to get him into a spot where we can actually take him. And it's at night, so that's going to make it harder to spot him. Plus, we have to get him with the pump shotgun, so max of 150 meters, pretty much. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting, and we're in a very brushy area too. At least now that we have spotted this thing and we're actually tracking him. Uh, that's not good. Oh, oh no. Um, I'm afraid to take him now. This, um, <laughs> that's an interesting way to find him. I don't know if we can even guarantee we'll hit him. And I don't know if we should even count it if we do, because this is making it a little bit too easy, I'd say. I think we'll try to get him to spook. That's really unfortunate that he bugged out like that. There's not really anything we can do either. We might just have to continue on looking for another one. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Let's just smoke him and... That is so sad. That's the first time I've ever had a diamond get that bug where it just freezes. That's really unfortunate. I don't know if we're even going to count this. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because it trolled, but... That's so unfortunate that it bugged out like that. But I mean, it trolled regardless, so it's not that big of a deal. We can just move on and try to find something else. Ooh, look at that right there. That is a level 3 leucistic pronghorn. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if this thing will make gold. I don't remember what gold score is for them. But it's got a chance. I know level 3s can make it. So if this ends up hitting gold, this will complete the challenge. But honestly, I don't even care if it completes the challenge. That's just super awesome. 
I've been looking for another leucistic pronghorn. We've only killed one the entire time that I've played the game, so I was really hoping we could find another one eventually, and it looks like we just did. It's got an upper estimate of 64. I don't know if that'll make gold. Something tells me that gold is like 63 or somewhere around there. It's either like 63 or 67, so maybe, maybe this guy has a chance. All right, so he's now at 150, which means we should be able to get this shot off if we can. That looked to be good, and we definitely got him. So at least we're not going home empty-handed. We may have been trolled on that mountain lion, but at least a rare is always a rare no matter what it scores, so we at least have that going for us here. And if it scores gold, then it'll complete the challenge for us, so fingers crossed that it will. And we've got about 17 minutes left on the clock, so even if this thing does not make gold, we still have a little bit of time to continue looking around and find something that will. And it didn't run too far at all. That is definitely a leucistic. Let's get a picture of this thing. I don't think it's going to make gold. Those horns don't look like it. It is just a silver at 5860 and gold is actually 75. So yeah, this guy was way off, but that is 100% tax worthy and a pretty awesome thing to get. We might even put this in the main lodge. At the very least, it'll go in the secondary. Well, that's not what I planned on happening. I had actually forgot that you could die from that fall if you hit it wrong. Well then, that was uh, <laughs> interesting. But I mean, made it so I didn't have to waste a med kit and it put us over here. Okay. Interesting, but I mean, I guess we'll take it. So with there now being less than eight minutes on the clock, I've been having trouble finding a good server. I got into one that was a level 25, but it was at a pretty bad time. Uh, this guy is level 60 and it's once again not at a good time, so I don't know what we're going to do. This server looks like it's... Yeah, I don't think this will be a pretty good one. There's need zones everywhere, which means it's probably been pretty heavily hunted, so on to find another one. So it looks like we're going to have to join a server that's got a little bit more people in it than what I'd like. So hopefully that's not going to hinder us too much in trying to hunt the areas that we want to hunt. Hopefully at least. This guy is a level 27 host, so that's promising. It's at level... Ah, man, it's at 14 though. Uh, I guess we could check down here. We could run the plains, I guess, for this last portion. I think there might be some bison out at this time. I could be wrong though. I don't really keep track of the bison drink time, but I think it's around this time. We'll see though. Two minutes left and I don't think we're going to find anything. We just spotted some pronghorn over here, but none of them are a rare or a diamond potential. So none of those are going to be anything that can help us out. Really hoping there'll be something towards the end of this hill, towards the bottom of it I mean but it's not looking like it. I think it's over for us I'm at a minute 35 left. It's not looking very good. I think what we're going to do is as a last hurrah, we're going to go to one of the lakes that I always have decent luck at and just hope that maybe we can get a bedded mule deer or a mountain lion or a bighorn sheep or something like that. Usually around here there's something, but this time there wasn't and we are now out of time. Which means it's time to go spin the wheel. Alright, so I did make a couple changes to this wheel since the beginning of this video. I decided to add a couple saved spaces, so if we hit these, then we don't have to do anything. But there's quite a few other things besides those, so the chances of hitting those are pretty slim. Also, let me know if you guys think there should be more of a certain one or less of a certain one on here. But anyway, let's go ahead and spin it. Alright, so we have to take a diamond from 60 meters with the bow. That honestly is one of the better ones we could have got, so I'm perfectly fine with that. It's pretty difficult, but I've done it before, so I think we can do it. 
Okay, so I don't want to jump the gun on this guy, but I think that is diamond potential. I mean, it certainly has the estimate to where it could make it, but it's just going to be a matter of will it actually make it. So let's get the elk caller in. All right, well, the host just uh, changed the time, so <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to get this guy yet. This might make it a little bit more difficult. However, we might actually be able to get him to come to the call now. So this might actually be a positive. Hopefully at least. Oh, this is actually perfect. Um, we need to make sure it's 60 meters though. That hit high, I think. Uh, that definitely hit higher than I was expecting it to. I'm curious what even happened there. I don't even know what to think. I mean, maybe we'll find him again. With the amount of times the time's being changed right now, it's hard to say if we'll ever see that guy again. Oh, there he is, right there. Well, good thing is he hasn't gone too far. Bad news. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's a guaranteed diamond right there. <laughs> Let's go chase that thing down. The issue here is I don't have the turkey call on me. So we're going to have to try and stock up on this guy. I don't know how this is going to go or how we're going to manage this. But I mean, all else fails, we'll grab his track and go grab our turkey call. It, of course, the only call that I don't bring with me is the one that I end up needing. Because I didn't bring it with me, but I brought everything else. Quite unfortunate. And our elk finally died off, so we'll at least get to see what he scores. Which, hopefully it won't be a diamond. Or hopefully it wouldn't have been a diamond, otherwise we just ended up screwing him up. This turkey, though, is going to prove to be difficult, I think. We just have to get to 60 meters and then we'll be good. Although he just went alarmed, which I didn't necessarily want. Let's go ahead and grab the 300 grain arrows and... Ah, of course. I mean, we can do 12 gauge... Or no, we can't actually because this is not the normal challenge anymore. Well, quite unfortunate. Guess we're going to have to go back and grab the correct arrows. Well, this is where our elk died. It got the invisibility glitch, though, because we went out of render, so... I guess we'll try to grab him. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see if it would have made diamond or not. Yeah, no way to know. And, oh, oh gosh. what What is going on? Well, we got to see it. I think it broke. Um, yeah, I... I broke my game. That's... Great, now we're never going to be able to see. <laughs> now we're never going to be able to find that turkey. Guess we're going to have to alt F4 and... Oh, I see the turkey in front of us. No, this is... Oh my gosh, this is such a troll. There's nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing I can do to get out of this either. There he is. There's our turkey right there. Let's see if we can maybe get this. Imagine if we actually hit that. Doesn't hurt to fling a couple arrows towards him. But at least we found him. Man, has it been a journey trying to get this thing. It's now been 20 minutes since I initially spotted that elk. And about probably 17 or 18 since we initially spotted the turkey. So it's safe to say we've been chasing him for quite a while at this point. Oh, there he is. There he is. Can we hit this? Oh, I think he flew off right as we took the shot. Oh, I sure hope not. Yeah, we definitely didn't get him. Well, at least we know where he is. About 200 meters out that way.
Well, that may not be the diamond that we're chasing after, but there is a piebald mule deer buck in that herd over there. And I actually haven't seen a piebald male in months at this point. It's been a lot of females for multiplayer, but not any male ones. Now we finally have one. And I think, obviously, with the way it is in the 60-minute uh, challenge where we can get a gold rare, I think for the uh, the fail wheel stuff, we can also get a gold rare in place of a diamond. So we'll probably try to get this guy with the bow. I don't know how that's going to go, but we're going to try it out at least and just see what we can get going. I mean, I don't think that guy's going to make it. In fact, with that estimate, I actually think that it might not even have a chance at all. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure gold is 227. Well, I mean, if we can, we'll still try to take him with the bow, but I don't think he's going to make it after looking at that. Right, there we go. They are now moving. And I think we smoked him. Oh. Yeah. We definitely did. He just went down. Nice. So if he does make gold, that'll complete it. If not, we're going to have to keep looking, but that's pretty cool to stumble across as we're trying to find something for this uh, fail wheel challenge. It's been a very long time since I've killed a piebald buck, so I'm extremely happy with this. Let's go ahead and claim him. It is just a silver at 187. I didn't think this guy would make it, but 222 is gold, so he had a chance. But that is one of the smaller racks, unfortunately. Still pretty cool, though. I gotta say, it's nice to finally get another one of these. We'll go ahead and tax that. Well, this wind is not ideal, but there is a level five mule deer right there. And that is one of those racks that 99% of the time won't make it, but it does have a chance. However, I feel like because of that estimate, it's most likely gonna hit the very bottom of the estimate. Which would be quite unfortunate, but it wouldn't surprise me. But we'll at least try to get close enough to take a bow shot and just hope that we're able to make it because this could potentially be the one to complete this. It's been quite a while since uh, we took that piebald. So it would be nice to get something else on the ground. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention when I was taking that piebald out, but we had to quit going for the turkey because it was about two in the morning at the time where I decided to give up. We had been chasing that turkey for an hour and 20 minutes. It didn't want to come back to its zone. We couldn't get close enough for a bow shot. It wasn't coming to calls. There really wasn't anything that we could do, unfortunately, to get that thing down. So I did have to just let it go, unfortunately. And well, that brings us to where we are now. Hopefully this guy is going to make it. Otherwise, this video might end up being like 30 minutes long. Unfortunately, none of the brush or plants around here hide us. Oh, actually that does. Just need to get another view on this guy. Oh yeah, that's him. That's him right there. Ooh, they are all moving around. Uh, this is not ideal. Oh yeah, they're coming right towards us. Oh gosh. Um, we gotta make sure we take it from at least 60 meters, so I do need to back up as much as I can. Last thing I want to do is get it within 60 so that we'll have to do it all over again. That would be most unfortunate. I mean, we've now got him to 75. We're getting really close to being able to do this. We're getting really, really close. If we can get to 65, I'll be comfortable with the shot. Oh, I think we got him. I think we smoked him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that shot. I can't believe that actually worked out. Typically they spook before I'm able to get close enough when I'm using this method of stalking, but it actually worked out this time. Wow. Let's hope this guy makes it. I don't think he will. This rack usually trolls, but it did look a little wider than normal, so maybe we'll get lucky. It is just a gold at 311.60. Oh, that's so close. It had a chance. 
Man, this is the closest I've ever got with this rack. 31160. That's really sad. That's really disappointing. But I mean, on the bright side, perfect double lung. Maybe slightly high, but at least it only got the lungs. Wow. So close. So, so close. But we got to continue on. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um. So I'm 99% sure that that's going to be my personal best elk, no matter what. I think my previous best is 507, so this guy right here should top it. Of course we would find this guy while we're doing a 60 meter bow challenge. This is not going to be easy. I'm not looking forward to taking this shot. Especially on something that I really don't want to mess up. This is going to be interesting to say the least. I just thought of something. I don't know if these arrows can take him. No, they can't. Two to seven. Got to make sure we get the right ones. Ooh, that was almost bad. And what is going on with my sight now? Oh no, this is not good. This is really not good. Okay, it's fixed. Now we got to get a range on him. 63. 62, 60. Come on, man. Just go broadside. Oh my gosh, we got him, I think. Yes, we got him. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I can't believe that. This went from being like one of the more disappointing hunts that we've had with uh, that mule deer not making it and us not getting the challenge completed. But oh my gosh, it ended off with a bang. That is vital blood right there. I can't believe we got him. This is easily going to be my personal best Rocky Mountain Elk, I think. I'm curious just how big he's going to be, though. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. 508 on the minimum estimate. Wow. All right, let's claim him. 50960. I think he, yeah, I think he's just barely my personal best. My personal best was either 507 or 509. This guy's 50960. Wow. I mean, he's not nearly as wide as a lot of them, and I really like that, actually. This might be my favorite rack for them, and it's the brown fur type, too. That's so cool. That is super awesome can't believe that that is crazy well we have a new trophy lodge edition after all which I was not expecting to have that's pretty awesome all right well this isn't where we're gonna end up putting him but I did just really quickly want to toss him down there for us to look at Wow what a beast of an elk that is such a monster I definitely like that this guy's got the narrow rack. I don't really like the super wide ones, so I'm actually more happy with this than I am any of the other elk that we've got in the past. Uh, let's move these, and then we'll take a couple screenshots of this guy real quickly. So our previous brown Rocky Mountain elk was only a 491, so we definitely topped our best brown, but this guy was our previous best Rocky, and we beat him by just barely, 0.40 is the difference that's crazy and you guys can see how long it's been since we killed him 624 of 2020 so halfway through last year was when we killed our personal best rocky mountain elk and we finally have topped him it's been a long time but we finally did it and then this guy right here was probably one of the biggest looking elk that we had killed it's not nearly as a uh, high scoring but it's really wide I've always wondered what the main differences are in these that change their scoring so much. Because this guy's 491, 
but he doesn't look all that different from the 507. I'm wondering if maybe it's primarily the brow tines or if it's the back tines? I don't even know, honestly. They look very, very similar to me. But anyway, I think it is time to remove this guy right here and replace him with a brand new Rocky Mountain Elk. That is a beauty right there. My gosh. I love the way that looks. And I, I guess we could put our old one right here. Keep this as like a Rocky Mountain Elk hull, or I guess Elk in general. Not too bad. Kind of clips through there though, so... Might have to find... Yeah, that works. The problem with this guy is one side is bigger than the other. So it makes it hard to get a spot. I think... That actually works right there. We'll just leave him like that, I think. Then as far as the leucistic one, it's not as big as the one that we already had in here, so we're not going to put him here. He'll end up going in a different lodge. Same with the piebald mule deer, I think. Neither of them are really worthy of being in the main lodge, so they're going to end up going in a secondary lodge, but that's still insane that we managed to get such a monster Rocky Mountain Elk. I can't believe it. It sucked that we had to take it from 60 meters or more, but we managed to make it work, and I'm actually pretty surprised at how well we were shooting at 60 meters. We made three different shots at 60 meters and nailed every single one of them. So that I'm pretty happy about. But anyway guys, if you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring the notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with a video idea or your opinions on the series or your opinions on the video. And leave me some more suggestions on stuff that I should add to the wheels. And maybe, you'll get, maybe you guys will see it in a future video. But with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.